it's Suzanne with Scrap in the Details, and today I have a project share to share with you. These are my vellum pocket envelopes, and I've been making them for about a couple of years now. So here's one from this past Christmas that I thought I'd just pull out to kind of share with you the concept. Now the star of this project is simply our vellum pocket envelope and you will need a sewing machine for this project. I'm not a seamstress, so if I can do this, so can you. We're simply stitching along the sides of two pieces of vellum, and we're gonna leave the top open, obviously, so we can tuck in our goodies. So here, again, is just a Christmas one. I'm going to create some birthday ones for you today, and I'll show you a tutorial on part of that. So today's project I'm calling a vellum birthday pocket envelope and it's full of wonderful items so here's the base and again they're just two pieces of vellum paper they are they measure five by seven and you're simply going to lay them on top of one another grab your sewing machine and just here I did a zigzag stitch and so you're simply stitching along and I like to keep the strings um, long but you can obviously cut them if you choose to I just I don't know why I like it, I just do. So I've already um, stitched three together here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what we need to get started. Okay, first I thought I would share with you exactly what I'm going to be creating today. And again, these are my vellum birthday pocket envelopes. Now, as you can see, I've done this one a little bit different from my Christmas ones in the past. I actually added an envelope to the front of my vellum pocket and inside it does open and I simply tucked in a birthday card for the recipient. Super easy. I just thought, how can I jazz up these cute vellum pockets? And I just simply thought an envelope would be really pretty there and it'll be a great way to give a a birthday card to whoever you want to give it to and then of course I've added some other elements as well who doesn't want to receive chocolate and then a fun way to enclose that gift card to the birthday recipient and then of course for fun I love making these they are so much fun and so easy so I just simply made a vellum rosette for the birthday girl so this is what we're gonna be making today. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what you'll need to make this project. You will need a vellum pocket. So again, five by seven, stitch along the sides and the bottom, leaving the top open so we can tuck in our chocolate and our gift card. You're going to need that. So you're also gonna need some chocolate, of course. You're going to need just some fun embellishments. Um, I use this die cut on my rosette, but a circle uh, die would, would work, as well as a floral one too, just whatever shape you have, just to add that extra layer when we're making that rosette. You're gonna need some gold embossing powder, a Versamark pad, and a black ink. I love my Saison, so I kinda use it for almost every project. And then just go through your inventory, and that's exactly what I did when I began this project. I just pulled out stamps and papers and embellishments just to kind of get me inspired and to kind of help me have a direction uh, for creating this pocket. So just some variety of birthday stamps. So I just kind of picked these here. I Again, like I've, I've simply, some of these are really old, but I turn to them time and time again. And then you're going to need an embossing folder. As you can see, this is well loved as well as these. So again, if you've watched my past tutorials, you know I am a big fan of this Tim Holtz mini paper rosettes. I absolutely love this die, and I, I know I use it a lot, but it's just when you're, when you're creating birthday or any type of holiday, it just screams celebration to me. So I use these, but of course you can cut your own. You'll also need assorted punches, so just shop through your inventory and kind of pull out some of your favorites. So for this vellum rosette, to create this bow, I simply used my boa builder from Stampin' Up. I really love the size, and it's so easy to assemble and use. So that is definitely one of my staples. And then I love this one here. This is by Martha Stewart. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, but I know you probably have seen me use this time and time again. This is just a bigger version of that, and that is from E-Cake Success, 
a corner round if you want to corner round your card as well as the um, I corner round it again it's just a small detail but I just corner round it here on my uh, chocolate pack here and then some circles just a sort of circles and that's about it for punches you will need some twine as well as some tool of your choice whatever color depending on which pattern papers you choose and then you're going to need the envelope punch board by we are memory keepers to create our envelope that sits on front of our vellum pocket you will need these uh, velcro tabs so the envelope can um, be um, opened and just assorted go through your project life cards if you do project life pull some out that just again goes with the papers that you have chosen or simply cut a pattern paper one of your favorites to three by four for this project and then you'll need some lollipop sticks these are some larger ones that i had and i'm simply going to trim it um, just to the size that i want and then some um, ink as well as some small dollies and some larger ones now the die that i used for the front of this envelope i simply love it it's so intricate and i believe this is from tim holtz and i believe it's called the dolly one or dolly two I, I can't remember but i loaned mine out to a friend so i didn't have it for um, this tutorial however i do always use these so this will suffice as well, especially if you don't have this. But if you don't have it, I definitely think you should add it to your um, wish list because it, it's just really pretty. So this will uh, need to be cut with the precision plate. And let's see. And I think that's it for these. And you will need some tags here. And these are just some Avery tags that I picked up from Walmart. So just a tag that we are going to use to add just a detail to the front of our project. You will need some pattern paper. So again, just pick out your favorites. Um, you know, it is been, it's been really cold around here. So I was looking for just happier colors, something that kind of reminded me of spring. So I just pulled out some paper pads that I had in my stash and these are from American Crafts and I obviously picked them up from Hobby Lobby, but I've had them for um, probably over a year now. And just some other pattern papers that I thought coordinated very well. And then um, you will need 12 by 12 vellum. Now, did you know, because I didn't until I was playing, that the rosette die from Tim Holtz will cut through vellum. And I, I was very hesitant to use it because I thought it'll just crack and, and cut the, you know, the rosette and it wouldn't adhere well, but it worked perfectly. I was so surprised and I was like, I fell in love because I love vellum on almost every one of my projects. And to find out that it would create this vellum rosette, I was a happy gal. So 12 by 12, this is pink. You could, you know, pick a different color if you'd like. And some eight and a half by white, um, eight and a half by 11 white vellum, because that creates our vellum pocket. And then again, just some cardstock, some gold glitter. And if you, I'll show you the card that I created for, to tuck inside, it's very simple really easy because I added so much detail to the front of my envelope. I made my card pretty simple, but still pretty to give to someone. So, and I use the Tim Holtz Distress water, Watercolor Cardstock. Okay, that's a lot of materials, but lots of fun stuff. And again, if you don't have to have all these things, this is just kind of giving you an idea of what I use to create my birthday vellum pocket envelope. And hopefully you will enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create our envelope for the front of the vellum pocket. So I've already picked out my pattern paper. I have my envelope punch board here. Now the card side that I chose to use is four by five. So that means I, my paper is gonna be seven and a half by seven and a half, and we're going to score at the three and three eighths mark. I really love this tool. It is so simple to use. So let's go ahead and get that done.
we created our envelope, we adhered it to our vellum pocket. Now I'm just gonna show you the different layers that I created when I made my vellum pockets. So first layer will be a doily. You're going to adhere that down. And then I did use this punch here and I'm just gonna punch out a red one really quickly because that's what goes with this um, envelope. So that would be your next layer. Now, as um, I mentioned, you wanna shop in your in scrapbooking inventory and pull out embellishments that you already have that are pre-made because it just makes it a little bit faster. And then it, you can also add details to them too to make them even more special. So that's exactly what I did at the beginning of this video. Or rather, at the beginning of my creative process. So I just kind of picked a bunch of embellishments that I've had. I'm in the middle of purging and getting rid of scrapbook supplies that I'm not using just to kind of streamline um, my design process and just so I can find things easier. I'm sure you're probably like me, we just have way too many things and I'm just starting to kind of pick out the things that I am using, the things I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely purging. So anyway, I kind of pull these out. Obviously these will not go with the um, envelope that I have here, but this was the color pal palette that I started off with. However, I do notice like this denim rosette might work for this envelope and I'm gonna pop it off here and as I started actually removing the center. So let me just move this off to the side. I was just gonna mention that sometimes I don't like the um, center of a pre-made embellishment. You know, maybe there's a phrase or some rhinestone or some button that I'm not liking like this, you know, this yellow doesn't match. So I had already started to pull it off, but this doesn't, it's too big for this red circle die cut. So I'm just going to show, just leave it there just so you can kind of know the layers. But in this case here, there was a little banner with a phrase over this rosette, but it didn't go with my birthday theme. So I gently removed it. And then the next layer is this vellum circle and then this gold glitter circle that finishes the center of the rosette. So hopefully you can see all those different layers and then we're obviously gonna finish it off with a tag. So I'm not gonna finish this, but I just kinda of wanted to show you the process because my video stopped. Okay, let's get on to the next step. All right, now I'm gonna work on my tags and what I did, like I said, I picked these up from Walmart. They're just your plain Avery tags and I'm gonna grab some ink and just kind of brush some ink across them. I'm actually making two more, so that's why I have two tags here. So I just cut the ends off because I'm gonna add my own twine and I just grabbed some distressed ink and sponge sugar. I love this color. And of course, you know, you could just cut this out of uh, pink cardstock, but I was just being lazy and didn't wanna find my tag dye. So I just thought, you know what, I'm using color it myself with ink. So I kind of work off the paper and go right onto the tag just to give it that pink wash. And just need it a little bit darker there. Okay, and that's it, really simple. And then I'm going to stamp my two little sayings onto the tag. Okay, next I'm gonna stamp this little saying that says, look inside, I think it's so cute. I've had this forever and it's just perfect just so they know to open up that envelope. Again, I'm making two of these just so I can have on hand, so I'm stamping two. And then I have this one, this one says for you. This was obviously never been used before. Oh my stars, many things I've not used and I thought, let me go ahead and just kind of adhere the saying to the wood block so I can use it. Because it's so cute. Okay, for you. And that's done. And now we can grab our vellum pocket. I'll save that one for my other one. And what I'm gonna do is simply tie this um, around the rosette. 
and you could ink uh, along the edges of the tag if you wanted to. I'm just kind of keeping mine just clean and springy and just pretty. And then I'm just going to finish this off into a knot. And that way it just hangs down. So again, they know there's something else inside this envelope besides all the goodies that are tucked inside. And then I'll just cut the ends. Oops. Okay. The front of our envelope is done. And now it's ready for our card. All right, let's go ahead and create the inside items for our vellum pocket. Okay, now we're going to create our chocolate um, little package here. I thought it was something really cute to add. Normally when I first created my um, vellum pockets for Christmas, I obviously didn't have an envelope on the front, but I would encourage you know people that purchased them at my holiday boutiques to insert like a Hershey chocolate bar or their gift card. But I thought, let me go ahead and make this just a little bit more special for the inside of the vellum pocket. So the first thing you're going to need is your pattern paper of choice and I and also a piece of white cardstock just to make it a little bit stronger. As you can see, this is just a scratch piece of paper that I had. I'm going to go ahead and use it because no one's going to see what's underneath. So this paper, both pieces of paper measure three and a half by six and you can corner round them if you like. And then I have two one inch strips um, that also measure one inch by three and a half and they're just gonna be layered right along the bottom. I already have my chocolate already packaged. And again, you've probably seen these all over Pinterest and also YouTube. They're just one inch by three inch of pattern paper of your choice and you simply wrap them around the Hershey Nuggets. I use double stick tape just because I feel it adheres a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get this. This was part of my signage for my holiday boutique and I could not find them. And of course I didn't have them for one of them and I came across them today. So I thought, oh my star Suzanne, we need to have a better organizing system for this year. All right, so just go ahead and lay that right on top and I kind of got it a little crooked, so let me go ahead and just trim this off just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this along the bottom. Just to add just some more detail, I'll cut that off with my scissors. I'll add this floral strip right above it. And that looks good. And I'll just trim off that excess that I kind of went a little bit wrong. Okay, super easy. Okay, so that's done. And now what I'm going to do is corner round. because Now I love my corner rounder. However, it's not going to go through all those layers along the bottom. So I'm pulling this out. This is my heavy duty one. And it'll get all those corners nicely. And I think actually I am going to use the half inch side. So let me just go through all four of those corners one more time. And that is done. Now to adhere the chocolate, what I did was I just grabbed my double sided tape and I just grabbed a little piece of it. I adhered it directly to my card and then just started aligning them. Starting, see where I started that. I'm going to start that there. And I'll go along with this one. And I'm going to use a little bit more tape there just to finish off the bottom one. And it's just going to 
it here just for a little bit and then we're going to use this twine to tie it all the way around so it's nice and secure. So you're just going to need a lot of twine and I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to think when I have enough. That looks good. Okay, now I'm just going to um, adhere twine to my package. Okay, that took me a few tries, but I think I have it. And now I'm just gonna punch a hole onto my little tag. I've already stamped it and heat embossed it with gold embossing powder, and it simply says, celebrate, to commemorate with festivities. Thought this was really cute. I haven't used this stamp in a very long time. So let's go ahead and get up there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my other one for my other one that I'm creating. All right, and now we're just going to string our twine through the tag. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to finish it off by tying it into a bow. Just adds a little extra something to this nice wrapped chocolate just a little bit more special and okay this bow side doesn't want to work with me here let me just try that again I haven't used this twine I really like the twine from um, twinery because it's just a little bit thicker but I found this and it was just perfect with my pattern papers that I chose all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of the ends here and that part is done really cute really special and it'll be perfect to tuck inside your vellum pocket now I'm going to show you how I created my base that I will adhere my gift card to. This is a Project Life card and it simply measures 3 inches by 4. If you don't have any Project Life card, that's okay. Just grab some pattern paper and trim it to 3 by 4 and it'll work just the same. Just something that coordinates with your vellum pocket. So I've already done that here. I have picked mine and I'm going to go ahead and apply some adhesive to the back. Now I applied some washi tape on the back only because normally when I adhere a gift card to um, a piece of paper or a, an envelope, I use re repositionable glue dots, but I don't have any on hand, hence why I'm using my glue gun. So I just adhered some washi on the back just so it would hopefully um, be able to be removed easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and just lay my little Jolie over just to give it something pretty, just a pretty detail. And then I've already heat embossed my belly band that says happy everything. And it's a perfect little fit there. And this measures one inch by six and one eighth. And I did score prior to heat embossing my sentiment only so I can ensure that it's perfectly centered in the uh, center of my belly band. And then just because, just add another pretty detail, I'm going to add one of these clips. Now, these are from Maggie Holmes. I've had them for a while. Again, just shop in your stash and you'll find a lot of pretty things that maybe you haven't used yet. And these were one of those items. So, okay, that's it. Super easy, very easy, and just a really pretty way to give a gift card to the recipient for whatever holiday. All right, so the next final step is our vellum paper rosette. Now it's time to make a fun little accent and that is the vellum rosette. I've already created two here, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I created them. Again, you're gonna need 12 by 12 vellum paper and I've used a Tim Holtz paper um, mini rosette and also his large rosette as well. Now, I what I did, I just got a lollipop stick, I cut 
part of it just to ensure I had the right um, height when I tucked it inside my envelope. And then I adhered it onto the lollipop stick and then I turned it around and added more glue on the back and then just added a white circle just to kind of finish it off so it's kind of pretty when um, it's turned around. So it's not like unfinished and you don't see all that glue. So that is already done and it's already dried, it's ready to go. And then next I have this sun um, die and I'm going to lay it right on top. And again, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun just to run a little bit of glue around the outer edges. I'm going to hit it right there onto my vellum rosette. I really love the shape of that. And then of course, we're going to fill in the inside with a mini vellum rosette. And as I always adhere in these together, it kind of reminded me of playing with cupcake liners a little bit. I just really love the softness that the vellum paper gives. I hope I can find more colors. Again, like I said, I just had some in my stash and I thought, let me try it. I've never tried it. I didn't think it would work, but it did. And I'm so happy to see that. Okay, my next layer is a vellum circle that I emboss with Swiss Dots embossing folder. And it is by Cuddlebug. I'm sure you can still, or, or Provo Craft. I'm sure you can still find it. And that's gonna be on my in my center. And then I'm gonna adhere my bow right on top. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish off the center with these enamel dots that I had in my stash. They're from, I believe, Echo Park. They're part of, part of an older collection found so many fun things as I'm purging and going through paper and embellishments. Lots of fun things I didn't know I had. Okay, and then let's see, the final step is just gonna add some tool just to kind of give it, again, just, just a pretty detail. I'm all about details and tool, of course, is pretty soft and it just goes well with that vellum um, paper that we use to create the rosette. So I am simply just going to tie it in a knot and I'm gonna push it up being gentle so I don't tear that vellum rosette. And then I, let's see if I need to trim any and I think I'm okay. I think I like that. Okay, and that's it. Super easy to create these. How pretty are these? So I think we're almost done. So let's go ahead and put everything inside our envelope pockets. We have finished all the elements to our vellum birthday pocket envelopes. Gosh, I feel like that's a lot of words, but it's true. This is what it is. And I absolutely love this project. And I love that I stepped it up a bit um, this year, and, you know, adding the envelope on top of the vellum pocket. I think that just adds a neat little touch. And it's a, like I said, it's a great way to tuck in your greeting card. Now, I love the color palette that I chose. It's been rainy and cold here, and I'm so ready for sunshine, and this reminds me of spring. And the colors here are just pretty, they're dainty, they're girly. This will actually be perfect for my niece who's turning 19 um, this, this month, actually, I think in a week. So I'm gonna definitely send one of these to her. I think she will love it because she's all about pink and anything girly. So this definitely will um, make her smile when she receives it. So let's go ahead and start tucking everything inside our vellum pocket. So you may be wondering why this is so long. Um, I mean, you could actually add, now that I'm looking at it, you could add more chocolate to it. And in fact, I think I will. I'm not certain why I was stuck on three chocolates, but I was. So now that I think about it, yes, add more chocolate to it. I mean, Hello, Suzanne. Why didn't I think of that when I was first designing this? But it just came to me. So definitely cover more chocolate and you know add two or three more for the recipient. But the reason that I chose the dimensions, which were three and a half by six, was that when you tucked it inside your vellum envelope, it kind of peeked out just a bit. 
So just to kind of make it a little bit more exciting to the person that you're going to give that to. Oh my stars, I'm, I'm still thinking about that. But anyway, I guess maybe I was short on some chocolate or something. I'm not certain. And then of course, you know, you have your gift card that you're going to enclose inside. And then you're going to finish it off just because why not? Just a beautiful little vellum rosette. And I'm so happy that I was playing with vellum because I love, love, love the softness of it. And how pretty is that? So pretty. It's just a beautiful way to give a gift card to someone special on their birthday. And I really love the way this turned out. So here, um, again, are the other... This is the first one that I created right here. And then here's another one that I finished off as well. A little bit brighter colors, but still the concept is just the same. And let me go ahead and show you the gift, or actually the greeting card that I tucked inside. So it's very simple. Again, because there's so much going on, there's so much details, I kept my card really simple. So they're gonna, Pick it up, open it up like that, and here you go. I did a simple wash with some paint and then um, used some black ink to just add some little speckles throughout this gold embossed rose that I heat embossed. And then, of course, a sentiment, happy birthday, and just some pattern paper. I mean, seriously, how easy and simple is that? But it's still really pretty. And, in fact, I was really happy. Um, you know, I was playing with this last night. I have this rose dye and I play with it and I cut a white one. I'm like, how can I make it pretty? I didn't have any um, gold foil or, you know, metallic paper. And so I played with this as well. Just, it's just, you know, a die cut, cut out of white cardstock. And I pressed my Versamark pad all along top and then dusted on my heating, uh, my gold em embossing powder. And look at the result. I was like shocked. I have never tried that before and I totally love that. And so I did that to this rose. Super easy, very fast, and it just gives a really elegant touch to your project. So I'm gonna tuck that inside. All my cards are the same. I just mass produced them. And I love, love, love these little vellum pocket envelopes. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you wanna see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and I hope that you find some time to be creative. Have a great week.